Welcome to our instructional video for the CAVO Pro XM 3D Cube. Over the next few minutes, we'll cover everything you need to know in order to use the unit in your practice. My name is Bernard Fiedler. I'm an X-ray specialist, and I'll guide you through using the unit today. Our ProXM 3D Q is a hybrid unit that we can use for all 2D, 2D CEF, and 3D imaging. Correct positioning for 2D and 2D CEF imaging is explained in our ProXAM 2D videos. To start 3D imaging in Romexis, we click on the DVT icon. ARA allows us to select the level of metal artifact reduction as none, low, medium, or high. This should be selected before imaging. To take an image of the upper jaw, we select the upper jaw and go to the positioning level. We can use a dental cotton roll to help. The upward movement of the column is one of the major advantages of the ProXAM 3DQ. This allows us to adjust the height of the zero line without having to move the chin rest. This allows the patient to remain still in the standard position. We can adjust the line more exactly by moving it up and down using the arrow keys. Once our patient is properly positioned frontally, we go to the 90 degree and adjust the lateral position. Here we put our canine laser in front of the anterior tooth. This positioning applies to all volumes in the 3D cube. Once the patient is properly positioned, we can put the unit into image-ready mode and perform the imaging. For jaw imaging, we go to the Jaws section on our display. As usual, you can select the upper jaw, lower jaw, or both jaws. Otherwise, we go to the patient positioning level, align our patient on the mid-sagittal plane, close the temple supports, and correct the volume by adjusting upwards and downwards. Since we've reached the maximum diameter of 19 centimeters, we don't need to position the volume laterally. We can now go straight to imaging. To choose our maximum volume size of 19 by 15, we go to the face section. The volume size can also be adjusted here. We can switch to the positioning level. Position the patient on the mid-sagittal plane and close the headrest. Here too, we can correct the height of the volume using our arrow keys. Now we go into image-ready mode. We can only do this when the green light stops flashing and stays a steady green. Since this is a stitched volume, we will image the complete volume in two sets. During this time, we keep our finger on the trigger button.
The imaging is now complete, so we can let the patient exit the unit. We do everything else in Romexis. After the image has been taken, we move on to stitching in Romexis to merge both volumes. The imaging is then saved in Romexis. If we want to do sinus imaging, we select our ear, nose and throat programs and go to sinus. Here we can change the height of the volume. Go to the positioning level and use our arrow keys to change the height of the volume. Align the head in the mid-sagittal plane and close the head holders. Since we're at the maximum diameter of 19 centimeters again, lateral positioning isn't necessary. Now we can switch straight to image ready mode and proceed with the imaging. In order to start teleradiographic imaging on our ProXM 3D or 3DQ units, we press teleradiography on our display. Remove the chin rest and fold down the temple supports. Our drop-down menu contains more imaging options. We could select a partially lateral image, for instance. If we don't need this, we can simply switch to the patient positioning level and start positioning the patient. Now we can call the patient into the X-ray room and position them in the unit. We use the toggle switch to move the equipment up and down and adjust the ear tips to the correct height. To move them, we press the silver toggle switch and insert them into the ear canal. Now we can set the Frankfurt horizontal and position the nasion at the bridge of the nose. Once we position the patient, we go to the image ready mode setting on the display. Leave the x-ray room, ask the patient to keep still and trigger the imaging. Thank you. The entire frame can be rotated for further anteroposterior, posteroanterior positioning. Oblique imaging is also possible. The position remains the same. You can find other types of positioning in our instructions for use. To create a handheld image with the Ceph unit, we first disassemble the headrest and Nasian. And attach the hand carpus plate. After that, we rotate the frame to the hand carpus position. We now select hand on the display and go to the positioning level. Now we can position the patient's hand on the hand carpus plate, go into image ready mode, and perform the imaging. Further details of Cavo Pro Exam 3DQ and Romexis on the Cavo website, in other videos, or in the instructions for use. Thanks for watching.